Stage 3 procedure activated. Cryogenic reversal. Hibernation procedure terminated. Pods opening. <sighs> There's something wrong. Martinez. My God. She's dead. It's not safe. We have to get out of the ship now. Cassiopeia's navigation system didn't survive the landing. It's impossible to know where we are. It's not just the navigation system that's gone. The clock on the control panel said 3889. It's not possible that we've been drifting for nearly 2,000 years. This heat is unbearable. What on earth is that? I have no idea, but it's the first sign of life we've seen so far. They look like primitive symbols, a kind of... <gasps> Trees, grass, there must be water down there. Shh, Ulysses, Romulus, look. They, they look like... What's that? Something's coming! Run! Quiet, you miserable human! You'll get fed soon enough!
I suggest that you choose your words more carefully. You seem to forget that you are speaking to the supreme leader of the Eighth Council. You ought to adopt a more moderate tone. Of course, Dr. Zaves. But I was simply saying that this human could provide an unexpected opportunity that may never occur again. Furthermore... Dr. Zilla, how can I make you see reason? You chimpanzees seem to be so absorbed by your research work that you can no longer see the forest through the trees. I beg your pardon, Dr. Zaius, but I am just trying to make you understand. You seem to fear danger that simply does not exist. And I would like to know exactly why this research is such a cause of worry to the central power and the orangutans. This discussion has gone on long enough, Doctor. All you've got is your intuition. And a few unusual experiments, but nothing remotely solid. And the discovery of this individual, who is rather special, I admit, cannot change this decision in any way. And to come to your point about a possible danger, I have looked carefully at the file on this human specimen, and I am convinced that he is dangerous. Based on what? He was wearing a decontamination outfit when he was apprehended. Probably stolen from some careless chimpanzee like yourself. He may even have killed someone to get hold of it. Did you call for a check in the area where he was captured? What? No, but... But that was the first thing you should have done, Doctor. And I am astonished at your incompetence. No, I simply cannot allow an animal as dangerous as him to remain alive. And as such, he must be put down as quickly as possible. But you cannot do that! How dare you! I was simply saying... That's enough! You're going too far, Professor Zira. My decision is made. This human will be transferred tomorrow to the hominid monitoring unit at the Mandrill Militia Station and eliminated from there. Believe me, the Mandrills will enjoy getting rid of him for us. Dr. Zayas, this is outrageous! and an abuse of your authority. The discussion is over, Doctor, and my decision is final. And may I add that if you continue down this path of openly defying your superior's authority with your deranged conceits about human intelligence, 
that someone may decide to attach a different motivation for your experiments. And that, Dr. Zira, is treason. Treason? Just who does that overinflated orangutan think he is? He's more pig headed than a drunken mandrel, and more stupid than a panicked baboon!
over here. This human's dead. Get rid of it. Civilization 
Who are you? We are... I recognize you already. You brought me the bowl with the key inside it. Please, understand. We had no choice. The apes, they are... Look, just tell me what's going on. We saw the streak of fire in the sky, so I knew that you must be the one foretold of in the prophecy. Whoa, whoa there. Let's back up a few paces here. Where am I? We, the resistance fighters, call this world Neter. The apes call it Ter. And I believe the Ancient Ones called it... Earth. What? Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that... No. If that's right, then I've been drifting in space for nearly 2,000 years. But everything has been turned upside down. How did this happen? There was once a golden age, when men were the masters of Terre. The apes then rose to dominate... But how? I'm afraid nobody knows. What we do know is that mankind was devastated by the war, and that the apes hunted down all who were left like animals. The prophecy was then foretold. <laughs> Again with this prophecy. Hear us through before jumping to conclusions, please. Beyond the stars of our night sky will come the Savior. He will preach the union of all mankind. He will announce the end of our exile and the restoration of our lost splendor. He will be our guide, and the fire of his anger will be the despair of the apes. But what happened after the prophecy? The Elysians split off from the Aconites because of their disagreement. The Elysians tried to lead the remaining savages and enslaved humans to revolt against the apes. But it was an impossible task. So they split up into three groups. But only one group has survived to this day. The one led by Ezekiel. Are you the descendants of Ezekiel's people? Yes. I must try to get back to my spaceship. If I can't get back to my ship, I don't know what to do. That's impossible, Ulysses. We are in a forbidden area here. Forbidden? By whom? The Ape High Council refuses to admit to the general ape population that humans once ruled this world. But you are safe here, and There's the... There's something else I must tell you, Ulysses. I am convinced that you are the one we have been waiting for. So take this. It is said that Elia entrusted to each of the three leaders a share of their inheritance. Ezekiel was given the gold, Tomas the silver, and John the glass part. 
Each was given the task of guarding these relics until the time of renewal. What I've given you now is Ezekiel's part. Will you help us find the rest? The gold part. But where do I go from here? The city of New Cyprus was the last place the tribe of John lived. But we do not know where the tribe of Tomas lived before it was annihilated. So tell me, where is New Cyprus? Goye will lead you there. Try to find John's grave. We have strong reason to believe that the glass part is with him. So it is him then? Yes. I truly believe he is the one. Hmm. Do not worry, Eli. We'll be certain soon. Quite certain.
Hey, you! Wait! Wait! Well now, it looks like I'm gonna get that reward after all. You're dead, human, and I'll get the cash and the promotion. Are you too afraid to take me alive, monkey boy? You're supposed to be dangerous, and I'm not the kind of ape who likes to take risks when money is involved. You damn dirty ape. <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks. You saved my life. Who are you? My name's Nova, and you are? I am Ulysses. I have to go now. Wait! Wait! Disturbing you. How dare you, miserable human! How on earth did you manage to get in here? Quite easily, actually. Ugh, you're even more stupid than I was told. You haven't got the slightest chance of getting out of here alive. So, you're the infamous General Ursus, huh? <laughs> you're much uglier than your description. Well, 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 I wonder what this strange object could be. Ugh. So now, why don't you tell me what this is? Talk! 
I said talk. Even if I knew, what makes you think I'd tell a filthy animal like you? And this? Top secret report. Research work of Professor Cornelius A.E. project. And I suppose you have nothing to tell me about this, either. You'll pay for your insolence, wretched human! I'm sure we'll meet again. But for now, keep your paws up, Sparky. Urgh. Warning. Main ventilation system offline. Ventilation system will be online in 30 seconds. Warning. The procedure to reactivate the ventilation system is underway. power restored. System is online.
Warning, main ventilation system offline. Ventilation system will be online in 30 seconds. Warning, the procedure to reactivate the ventilation system is underway. 10, 9, My name is Bosco. Follow me. We can hide in the village. In the village? You'll be safe there. It's not far from here. All right, lead the way. And thanks for later. I always help those who help my people. This way. Hurry up. The gorillas will be here soon. Did you sleep well? Could have been longer, but it was better than nothing. Nova, I... I wanted to say thanks for... No! We're being attacked! Quick, Ulysses, run! Who's attacked? The apes! Thank you. I'm sure I'll be able to get out of here.
Let's go. Ah! You'll be all right. No! Uh, my son. I want to see my son. Uh, find Timon. Okay, I'll find him. Father, uh, you're going to have to go on without me. No, no. Please, son, be strong. Don't cry. You must leave the village now. Ulysses, you are a good man and our savior. I feel it. Listen to me. Uh, go and take shelter with Matthias at the bottom of the canyon. Uh, to get there, you must go to the other side of the canyon. Call Abra. He'll know how to get you across. Beware of the hyenas. They are there to slow down the apes while we are escaping, but uh, they, they are still very dangerous. Save your strength. Try and rest. Find? Find Ezekiel. Ezekiel? He will lead you to your destiny. Uh, good luck. Uh, Father? Father! <laughs> We should go. 
I have to take Timon to his mother. You go and I'll meet you at Matthias place at the bottom of the canyon. But who is Matthias? Matthias is my brother. No, I can't leave you alone here. Look, don't you understand? Jonah told us about you. You are the hope of the human race. I'll be waiting. Promise me you'll be careful. I promise.
Who are you? I'm Ulysses. Bosco sent me. By Ezekiel's beard! I've been expecting you at- You were expecting me? Yes. Nova told me what happened in the village. But didn't she stay at the village? She took a horse from one of the gorillas and escaped. But let's go inside to talk things over. You seem to have shaken things up since you arrived. Jonah said that you are the savior promised in our scriptures. I don't know about being a savior. 
but I'll do everything in my power to help you. You are more than welcome in my home. So, Ulysses, Jonah told me that you went to the ruins of New Cyprus. Yes, I found this piece of glass. The part left to John. We now have two of the three parts. By the three patriarchs! It is true. But I also found something else that's very troubling. This. This is very troubling indeed. It appears that they are trying to improve the gorilla race so they can dominate all other ape castes. What chance would we have of getting our freedom back? The report also seems to say that one of the components needed is human genetic material. There has to be something we can do. We'll have to use every resource available to stop them, even if it means war. Wait a minute. Who is this Professor Cornelius? I've heard of him. The slaves say that he's a good master who treats humans with kindness and understanding, as does his wife, Dr. Zira. This report sounds as if it was written without consulting him. He doesn't seem to be on very good professional terms with the guerrillas. Well, that makes sense then. Recently, I've heard that the military has been keeping a watchful eye on him. Something about his opposition to using human genetic material. But at the time, I had no idea what it meant or what he was working on. He must be aware that he's being kept under close watch. I must try to talk to him as soon as possible. Where does he work? He's now confined to the lab in the university. What? phone is for internal use only. Please enter the room number of the person to whom you wish to speak. This is Zornum. I'm calling about your ad looking for someone to share your apartment. I'm interested. Zornum? Listen, you're in first year chemistry, right? Are you sure you'll have enough to pay your half of the rent? No, there won't be any problem with money. I have enough to cover the rent. But it would be nice if we could meet so we can see if we get along. Well, okay. Meet me in the Kadosh room where we can talk in peace. I'll see you there in five minutes.
human. What are you doing here? Are you the one who called me? I'm calling the guards. Wait, wait, I, I did call you. I have to talk to you. I it's very important. I have to meet Professor Cornelius. Do you know where I can find him? You want to see Professor Cornelius? That should be interesting. You can probably find him in his research lab in the applied medicine sector. Hmm, he went through the morgue. Yes, that's your best bet. Try the morgue. There's a door leading to the lab from it. Thanks. I have a last favor to ask of you. Can you help me get out of here? Help you get out? Do you realize I could get expelled for this? Now, what would be the best way? That's it! If you can find a piece of sulfur and drop it into nitric acid, voila! The fire alarm will be tripped, and you just have to sneak out through the emergency exit. Do you follow me? Of course you do. Now, you'll find all you need in the storeroom, but there's a code. It's, uh, 2536. Yes, yes, 2536. I'm sure that's right. Thank you. Do you think it's possible to leave the university without being spotted? Hmm. There is one exit known only to us students, but... No, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. It's a secret. After all, if you're supposed to be as smart as an ape, can't you find it yourself? Thanks again. I think I have all I need to know. Right, I've got to go. Wait here a few minutes. Don't forget, 2536.
Hello? 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 Is anybody there? Hello? My goodness, what are you doing here? I've come to see you, Professor Cornelius. Ah, oh, so you're Ulysses. <laughs> the human who claims to have come from another planet. Your wife has talked to you about me? I must say, I'm a little jealous of her interest in you. Well, what can I do for you, seeing that you're willing to risk your life to get this information? What's the purpose of this research? My aim was to increase the brain size of apes so as to expand their intellectual capacity. Can these findings be applied to the human race? Yes. But what would the real point be of all that? No ape would ever tolerate the idea of humans having the same intellectual capacity. So why try to alter the natural course of things? Professor, do you realize you're being spied on? I've been having suspicions for some time. I now fear that my discoveries are being manipulated by a group of apes bent on seizing power and dominating the other species. Have you found out who's been stealing your research findings? I've got strong suspicions about the involvement of General Ursus in this business. Oh, the General has enormous influence with the Grand Council. However, I am certain that Professor Zaius would not tolerate the interference of a gorilla in scientific matters. Are there other research centers working on this project? Perhaps. It's quite possible. However, as I have said before, I have no solid proof of any of this. I'm afraid I have the proof you need. Oh, oh, but this is terrible. Oh, this is appalling. It's pure madness. A higher race of gorillas? I know that your intentions are peaceful. Oh, as soon as they get their paws on my latest discoveries, they won't hesitate to slaughter what remains of the human race. As soon as they find out. So we still have a chance to stop them. I must ask you to destroy your research findings. They're too dangerous especially if any more information falls into the wrong hands. Oh, I should have never started this line of research. You know there is no other solution. Yes, of course. I must start right away. Now I have to get away from here before the gorillas find me. Here, let me unlock the door of my lab so that you can get out along that corridor. Thank you, Cornelius. My, my, my. This is all turning out so strangely.
Daisies. Did you find Cornelius? Yes, I did. And I didn't have much difficulty convincing him. All I did was confirm the doubts that he already had. Ulysses, we have some bad news to tell you. It's Jonah. We... Jonah has a high opinion of you, Ulysses. Okay. So what's the bad news? He wants you to succeed him. What? Has something happened? Yes. Jonah's been captured and thrown in prison. While you were gone, Jonah heard about the third part and that he knew how to get a hold of it, but before we could talk to him in person, he was captured. There has to be a way to get him out. He's in a high security prison. It's going to be near impossible, but I'm willing to try. I should go. Alone. Just tell me how I get to this prison.
Jonah! Ulysses! Did they torture you? Yes, but I told them nothing. The, the missing part. In, in the library. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Right now, we've got to get you out of here. But the only exit is the way you came in. Unless... Uh, yes, it's the only solution. You've got to try and hold on, Jonah. Oh. Oh. What was that? That noise is my electronic shackle. It, it ha has an explosive in it. It's programmed to go off in two minutes if I leave myself. Listen to me. And find the silver part in the state library. I can't let you die. We have to find a way to disable it. No. The only way for you to, to, to get out alive is to go through the old human military base. Ah, the... The apes, they don't know it's there. It's only a few meters away from here. We dug a tunnel. Take me to the guard's room. This explosive charge should be able to blow up the last section of wall. Ah! Listen, Jonah, there must be another way. It's the only way. Uh, Jonah. Uh, no. Uh, Goodbye, Ulysses. Long live the resistance. Goodbye, Jonah. Uh, Goodbye.
I... I... Jonah's dead. No! Oh, no. You must help me, Matthias. Before he died, he told me where to find the silver part. It's under lock and key in the state library. We have to find the third part. What's the use? Jonah is dead. The Resistance has lost its leader. There's no hope left. Look. Jonah died so that the struggle could carry on. As for a resistance leader, I'm sure Jonah would have wanted you to take over leadership. So where will you stand, Matthias? Will you fight with me, or will you roll over and die? You're right, Ulysses. I will fight. But I'm afraid getting into the state library is impossible. It's well guarded. Why? It's only a library, isn't it? It is just a library, but the apes regard knowledge as dangerous. Special authorization is needed to get in there, and there are guards swarming all over the place. But no, no, it's impossible. What? What other way? There is an old underground passage that leads to the library. I'm listening. Hmm, there is some underground construction work going on at the moment not far from the library. That would mean going through the drains to reach it. The drains? Listen, I'll go. All our hopes depend on you, Ulysses. Now. Show me where this entrance is. Yeah. 
I busy. I, Simon. I clean all rooms. What do you want? Is there any special place where the apes keep strange or important things? I know. Special room in place. Place has secret code. <clears throat> but sometimes, big masters use code machine. So with that, I can enter the secret room? No! Apes not stupid. The four room, secret door for fingers. But you no good finger, human finger. If you enter, room has machine see you move. If you move, machine see you do, 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 alert, alert, and I... Thank you. But you killed Gorilla, so we have plenty problems. Who are you? I am Ulysses. Gorilla say I push him, but no true. Gorilla push me. He hit Anna. Take it easy. It's all over now. Do you know where to hide or, or how to escape? I know small places ape not go. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for a very important object. If object very special, object in a forbidden place, upstairs with master. But you no go without permission. Special card to open door. A special card? Do you know where I can find it? Oh no, too big danger. Wait, I steal card. You take card and go in forbidden place. No, it's too risky. No, Anna go quiet. He say nothing, but we careful. Anna steal card, hide in secret place. You go library, wait for Anna. After, wait Anna signal. You take card to door in hall. Okay, but be careful. I'll meet you in the library. Professor Skook, you are the first scientist to succeed in grafting human organs onto an ape. How did you manage such an unprecedented feat? Ah, oh, well, as you probably know, this fantastic leap forward in science is the work of a highly motivated and skilled team of researchers. Really? No, in fact, I was just joking. This fabulous result is all my own work. It's all mine, do you hear? Really? Well, actually, not quite. Of course, I had all the findings of my glorious predecessors to work on. My own research was focused on the physical resistance of the human organism. Really? Oh, absolutely. Did you know, for example, that a human can stay underwater for 72 hours before its body starts to take in water? Hmm? Other humans have been made to pedal without stopping for up to 176 hours before their hearts exploded. It seemed obvious that these results could lead to practical applications, and anyway, these experiments sometimes produce results that are simply amusing to look at. Really? Oh, believe me. For example, if you raise the temperature of a human to 270 degrees centigrade, he will develop a natural reaction of self-protection which consists of curling up and turning a lovely shade of bronze. This form of protection is absolutely perfect, and the human can live for years in this position without moving. You can produce the same reaction if you pass a current of 530 volts through one for 23 minutes. I've even managed to increase the voltage to 6500 volts. The human instantly becomes petrified and assumes a superb pose of stupefaction and his face shows no sign at all of suffering. Although the result of these experiments is probably cannot lead to purely scientific uses, it will produce applications in the field of uh, furniture. I am, in actual fact, in the process of selling the patent to a big chain of furniture stores which intends to bring out a line of uh, lampstands, armchairs, bookends, etc. Really? Oh yes, indeed. Hmm. Would you like to hear a joke? Hmm. Not really. 
Two sausages are frying in a pan. One turns to the other and says, wow, it's hot in here. And the other sausage replies, buy me a talking sausage. <laughs> That's a good one, eh? No, not really. Yeah. Well, leaving that aside for the moment, if I may return to the subject of grafts, I also followed the path pioneered by the great Professor Gatto six years ago in his famous experiment, yes. Really? Oh, absolutely. You may remember the experiment that was in all the headlines and aroused a lot of controversy among my fellow scientists. Professor Gatto succeeded in grafting the head of a freshly deceased and brilliant chimpanzee scientist on the body of a human. Really? Oh, yes, indeed. The new individual obtained in this way survived for 2.8 seconds. Well, of course, public opinion reacted to this experiment rather differently and was scandalized by this breaking down of the frontiers between man and ape. But you must understand, everything had to be done to save the brain of that chimpanzee. I'm working in a similar area at the moment, grafting human organs on an ape organism. Well, furthermore, these xenografts offer undeniable possibilities in the field of aesthetic surgery. Really? Oh, but my dear chap, you just have no idea how many female apes suffer from a mass of ridiculous, if rather charming, complexes about their physical aspect. One of the most common complexes concerns the shape or size of their ears. I've even heard several female apes remark that they find human ears really uh, cute. Well, of course, there's a psychiatric side to these cases, but after all, if that's what they pay me for, I'm quite willing to graft human ears on them. Really? Now, let me explain. My work as a scientist does not allow me to make a frivolous judgments. It's my ethical duty to treat these ladies by eliminating their complexes so they can live a more fulfilling life. Thank you. 
Okay.
Ulysses, did you find the silver part? Yes. Where's Nova? Here, Ulysses. Oh, I'm so glad you're back, safe. I'm glad to be back. <clears throat> Ulysses, the silver part. Of course. Here you go. After all this time, to have all three parts together. Well, what have we got to lose? Let's do this. What the? It looks like a kind of map. The red spot must indicate where something is located. It's like a peak. You're right, Nova. It's the gap in the Red Mountains. All right, then. Let's go. Ulysses, wait. It's not that simple. It's a forbidden place. We can't go there. Listen to me. This is where Ezekiel's own key has directed us. We must go there. It's the only way. You maniacs! You blew it up! Oh, damn you! God damn you all to hell!
This is President John Fergus speaking to the entire center. Yesterday at approximately 6 a.m., all the remaining battalions of the Human Resistance Army stationed in New Cyprus and Saskatoon were attacked in a massive enemy offensive. I'm afraid we have lost the war. The Earth is now under enemy control. Tomorrow at 0800, the entire base will be evacuated. May God have mercy on us all. This is President John Fergus speaking to the entire center. Yesterday at approximately 6 a.m., all the remaining battalions of the Human Resistance Army stationed in New Cyprus and Saskatoon were attacked in a massive enemy offensive. I'm afraid we have lost the war. The Earth is now under enemy control. Tomorrow at 0800, the entire base will be evacuated. May God have mercy on us all. All the remaining battalions of the Human Resistance Army stationed in New Cyprus and Saskatoon Please speak to establish vocal recognition. All the remaining battalions of the Human Resistance Army stationed in New Cyprus and Saskatoon. Voice analysis positive. System reactivation procedure in progress. Test of central memory blocks, affirmative. Reactivation of central system, successful. Problem with seal on pod number three, state, biological death. Morphobiological analysis begun. Male humanoid not listed in the user file. Very well, I'll talk to him. The morphobiological analysis shows that he is not the president. What is your identification code? But he has no uniform. Where is your uniform? Hmm? I must remind you that we are in a period of armed conflict against the apes, and that you are on a military base enforced by martial law. I'm not part of your army. I'm an astronaut. As for the war against the apes, the apes have been absolute rulers of this planet for many, many years. The apes rule the Earth. Impossible. You're lying. The Ark Project is infallible. Tell him, Jacquard, that we have a solution for every situation. The memory block. I'm afraid that he is right. We've lost the war, and the final phase of the project is underway. 
No, no, no. You're wrong, Jacquard. He is lying. It's a trap. Request activation of contact procedure with Earth Armed Forces. Procedure activated. No response from Earth Armed Forces. No! That cannot be! Ilevich! 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 Why doesn't Ilevich answer? You murderous spy! He killed Ilevich! I'm sure of it! I'll take care of him. Order to detection droids. Immediate destruction of the designated target. Cancel destruction. Oh well. Oh, well, pull yourself together. I am not your enemy. And you? Who are you? I. We. Are the central system. Don't tell him anything! He's a spy! Maybe these primates have managed to create androids. Let's get rid of him before it's too late! No. We are... Where should I start? Jakkad! Jakkad, tell him nothing! The project was extremely complex, and we had very little time to organize our resources and set it up. We then had the idea of commenting on how human intelligence is the power of the computers in order to create the ultimate brain, a hybrid system, half man and half machine. So Ilovich, Orwell, and myself decided to give up our physical life in order to give a chance to the human race. Yes, but what is this ARC project? Don't answer him! The ARC project is classified! You will never know! Never, never, never! Shut up, Orwell! It is impossible for us to reveal the content of the ARC project. You must help me. Help you? You have come late, much too late. There is nobody left here. We're both guards and prisoners. Go and look around in the presidential district. We can still authorize your access. That's the only thing we can still do. Maybe there you'll find the answers to your questions.
congratulate you for managing to get here. Now you must follow my instructions carefully. I will allow you to get to the art project. Jakarta, no! You have no right to do this! Shut up, Orwell. Go into this room and you will see a control panel with a red button. Press this button. A red button? What's this all about? If you want to know, do exactly as I told you. This discussion is over. Countdown to self-destruct engaged. But what the- Please evacuate the center. No! Are you crazy? The self-destruct procedure was built into the center system and was only to be activated after the arc project was completed. For some unknown reason, it did not take place as planned. We had to repair that error. But why? This base contains a large number of weapons of mass destruction. We were programmed to send off these bombs. That, that, that makes no sense at all! Just listen to Orwell. He has become mad over the years. And what's more... <laughs> Back. By carrying out this order, you will be giving back to us our human dignity. We've been living like machines, but we will die as human beings. Anyway, I've left you with no choice. Self-destruct in five minutes. I have only a very short time to help you, so listen carefully. We've detected a door in one of the rooms of the complex that has nothing to do with the art project. To be able to decipher the code of the locking system, we must connect ourselves up to the door. But how? Not far from the door, you'll see a protection robot. In its back, you'll find a magnetic connector. Remove it and stick it on the door to decipher the locking code. Hurry, because in a few minutes, the principal memory block holding the program will be wiped clean, and that will be the end of the central system. Self-destruct in three minutes. Men fighting to save humankind from extinction by the apes. A terrible battlefield. Their final hope, Noah's Ark. A gigantic shark buried deep in the bowels of the earth. 
10,000 men and women selected as its pioneers, ambassadors of their species and period. Their only aim to one day be able to bring back human life after a certain extinction from the face of the earth. The war was lost. The apes tried to destroy every trace of humanity, eliminating all forms of social contact between humans. The chapter closed. A new era began. The colony was set up inside the Ark, despite the hostile universe. Human life begins again. A generation of individuals who had never seen the face of the Earth replaced the pioneers. New generations followed, able to use the natural resources provided by the Earth's crust, science, and technology were its fundamental values. Major research was carried out to develop control of their mental faculties in order to eliminate any risk of collective or individual outbreaks of hostility. This is Eden, Terra Nova. Succeeding generations gradually lost all interest in leaving the Ark. The promise of returning to the surface was regarded by them as religious myth. This religion kept society together. They remained faithful to the memory of their ancestors, but lost the will to reconquer Earth. An unexpected event led to radical change in the underground city. The use of mental control was developed and pioneered in order to control the reactions of its underground population. Years of research led to the development and controlled use of psychic power in the human mind. During a course of experimentation, a young girl named Alice reached the highest recorded limit of mental development in an alarmingly short time. In a startling exclamation, she revealed the prophecy only to die moments later, her life drained from the intense mental exertion. She foretold the arrival of a savior, one who would lead mankind to the surface again. The prophecy became hope. People began to look to the surface again. The sky has failed its base. Darker, the earth has opened up, exposing its entrails. Thus is mankind punished. Exiled, condemned to darkness and deprived of the light from the heavens. The heritage of our forefathers swiftly eradicated. Our grief will be long and painful as we remember with nostalgia the light and heat of the sun. But this fateful destiny will come to an end in due course. For as the promised decrees, we will come to the aid of our brothers and sisters. In this way, we will atone for the fateful mistakes of our ancestry and finally close the book of misfortunes. From the farthest reaches of space, beyond the stars of our night sky will come the Savior. His arrival will announce the end of our exile and the return of our past splendor, for we will recognize him as the lawgiver of Earth. He will preach the unification of all humans and win the allegiance of the strong and the weak, the valiant, and the lost. We will instigate once more the seal of the Alliance and raise our unified armies to march under the banner of his glory. He will initiate the time of the great resurrection. He will be our inspiration, and the fire of his fury will be the despair of the apes. The prophecy had a profound effect on the underground cities. Two beliefs formed. Elia advocated action and immediate return to the surface, while Akan remained true to the prophecy and advised patience. Two factions emerged, the Akonikas and the Elysians. The division between the two groups was too strong to come to a rational solution. The less numerous Elysians left the Ark. Their chief, Ezekiel took with him the key of the return with the firm intention of coming back to reunite the interterrestrials once they had pacified the surface. Ezekiel was never to return. Since then, we have waited for the prophecy to be fulfilled, hoping and praying for the coming of the Savior. That day is upon us. You are the Messiah. 
the miracle through which we will be able to return to life on Earth, and return to life under the sun. Guidance, Ulysses. As it is written, our armies will raise and return to the surface. For us, you are like the first ray of sunlight that we have been denied for far too long. The time of the reconquest has begun. Open the gates for us, and show us the way. No! This is some kind of mistake! I am not your... your messiah! I am an astronaut shipwrecked on this... this... Listen to me! I have seen the surface. They need your help. Believe me! Ezekiel's people are fighting for the survival of the human species, and they are losing badly. Every day, more die needlessly. The apes have them beaten, and it's only a matter of time before they wipe them out completely. You people, don't you get it? You have the weapons, the technologies that the resistance fighters on the surface desperately need. You can't just stay down here hiding behind your prophecies and religion, avoiding what Ezekiel realized years ago. You've stayed underground for centuries, denying the truth. If you really are the descendants chosen to allow humankind to survive, you can't run away anymore. You must help them. Help them take back from the apes what rightfully belongs to humankind. You've waited long enough. If you wait any longer, it'll be too late. I am not your messiah. Don't expect any miracles from me. Expect them from yourselves. Matthias, what happened? Where's Nova? The guerrillas came looking for you. They took Nova prisoner. Where did they take her? They took her back to Ape City. What did you find? The Aconites. They exist. Look, there's no time. I have to expose Ursus to the ape leaders. And it's a journey from which I may not return. Take the key and try to contact the Aconites. You must unite the factions. It's our only hope. moved into a kind of underground city in the north of America called the Ark. Meanwhile, the surface became a hell of fire and radiation. When they went up to the surface again, they discovered a world totally devastated. But their women, the reconstruction took time, and the need for laborers led them to look for substitutes. The research into accelerated evolution produced its first results in 2274 and the first ape workers were available five years later. 2317, the apes were present at all levels of the society, specialized according to their skills. The mandrills were bred as part of the solution to the growing tensions observed in the ape population. But, but, but the tensions worsened. They did not see the rebellion coming. 2320, the apes took up arms against their human masters. Several cities were lost in the very earliest because the reproduction centers were captured by the apes and their numbers soon grew. As a precaution, the president of the US NSA launched the second arc project, Top Secret. By 2329, the last bastions of the humans fell to the apes' final assault. The last hope of mankind went down into the entrails of the earth and cut off every access to the surface. The 10,000 elites are now safe, but I only wish now is to die as a free man. I can't believe it. But now I have enough to bring down Ursus and free Nova.
Guards! Arrest that savage! Wait! I have something to say of great importance. This concerns all of ape kind. What insolence! Damned human! If you had the slightest trace of intelligence, you would never have dared to come here. Guards! Take him away! And kill him! Stop! As president of the council, I order you to release him! So... It seems you are the last remnant of the glory days of humankind. You speak, and you think like an ape, but you are still just a human. Zaius, I must protest! That's an order, General! Human, I am intrigued to hear what you have to say. Zaius, have we stooped so low as giving humans a forum to speak to us? You are holding a prisoner, a human who is close to me. I have come to negotiate her freedom in return for information of the highest importance to all apes. I cannot believe I'm hearing this. A human has come to share his wisdom with us, his superiors. <laughs> <laughs> this savage is very amusing. <laughs> Silence. Let him speak. Hmm. Don't you know that you're friend was made a prisoner precisely in the hope of capturing you? Yes, of course. But what I'm about to tell you is much more important than my capture. This file was stolen from Ursus. It has been completed by Professor Cornelius, who is heading the research work indirectly under the control of Ursus's special troops. The research carried out by Professor Cornelius originally concerned the genetic differences between humans and apes. Very quickly, this scientific genius saw that there were possible applications that could improve the ape genetic code. But that was only in theory. And then, someone started channeling funds and lots of further data into the project. Someone acting very discreetly indeed. This is all just rumors. Rumors? and lies. It was you, Ursus. And the information came from ancient human ruins found by whom? The militia team is working for Ursus, of course. That's a lie! And that's why he assigns his own personal militia to the protection of the human sites. Because he is carrying out his own research there. Surely you cannot believe this human. What, it was filled with hatred for us apes? Don't let yourselves be fooled by him! I had heard talk from certain troops about you bribing my second-in-command. But Ursus, surely this is untrue. And why would Ursus want to do this, human? Why? Because he's an insane megalomaniac, with the notion that gorillas are the only pure species of ape, and are therefore far superior to all of you, and us. His aim was to use the information uncovered in the documents that were excavated to genetically create a superior race of gorillas, a bloodthirsty breed of soldier that under his control would accomplish his true goal, the complete genocide of all humans and the extermination of any ape likely to oppose him. And finally, to dominate and rule this world with his master race. Those are his real plans. That's what he intends to do about you and about us. Can this be true? It's a total betrayal of the bond uniting us apes. It's, it's... Grrr. This is incredible. Have you completely lost your mind, Ursus? This is against all our principles. It's, it's anti-Simian. These accusations are absurd. 
All they amount to is a plot to destabilize the Ape Society by eliminating your war leader. Don't tell me you're gonna fall into this obvious trap! That will do, Ursus. The document before me is sufficient proof of your guilt, and your attempt to shake off this charge is a total waste of time. While I have had my suspicions regarding your integrity, and for that matter, your mental stability for a long while now, I never had the proof. However, I never suspected your treachery was of this magnitude. Now, a human, one we regarded as our worst enemy, comes to us with enough proof of the greatest threat that our society has ever faced. You will pay dearly for this. You miserable human! Ursus, you are from this instant relieved of your command. Guards, arrest him! Guards! Dr. Zayas? Take him to the military prison and keep him under close guard. Ursus, you will have mm. to answer for your crimes to the ape tribunal. None of you understand anything! You're only delaying the inevitable! We had someone like him where I came from. It is the destiny of the gorillas to take over Terre. Nothing you can do will change this. Highly respected members of the council, please, I need all of your attention. I am not used to pleading for the cause of humans, but what we have just experienced is truly unique. We are in a situation whereby a human this man, Ulysses, has managed to uncover a vile plot to break up the admirable unity that we apes have done everything to defend, no matter what the cost. Our rule is clear on this point. Any individual who serves the common cause of the apes must be rewarded. Consequently, we cannot act unjustly in this case. So, I ask that his request be granted. I suggest that the female human he came here seeking be freed immediately. What? But that's not possible! They are our enemies! This is most unusual, Zaius. <laughs> now that we have him, why should we let him go? Because we must show ourselves to be fair and generous. This human has helped us put an end to an unprecedented threat to all of ape civilization. Do you want our people to know how you reward those who help us? I propose that we let this human and his companion go free, but on one condition. They must go far away from here, to the other end of the inhabited world, and never return. I will give orders that they are to be killed if they are seen within 100 miles of our most remote cities. So be it. I consider your silence as a positive response to my proposal. Human, if you do not accept the generous offer made to you by the Council, you will rot in one of our cells until the end of your days. What do you say? I'll be glad to get as far away from here as I can and you needn't worry about me returning. In that case, you must go immediately. Guards, free the female human and escort the two of them straight to the city's limits. I still don't understand, Zaius. We had him at last. I agree with General Rakam. We had him. <laughs> All we're doing is putting off the problem. We will still have to deal with him one of these days. We should have locked him up for good. Or executed him. Silence! Listen to me. So you still don't understand? You're nothing but a bunch of fools and an embarrassment to those who voted for you. Just think a minute for a change. We have solved two problems. The treachery of Ursus and the human rebellion that is gaining ground each day. This imbecile of a human does not know that his action has destroyed his mythical status. Who can have faith now in a hero who runs away? Any intelligent creature would have chosen to die. 
By falling into this trap, he will be shown as a traitor to his fellow human rebels and a hypocrite in the bargain. If any of them still hope to rebel against us, they will be forced to accept that all humans are really cowards who are incapable of taking us on. The man who was supposed by their feeble religion to be their savior turns out to be the grave digger of all of their hopes. Here we once again have proof of the superiority of ape over man. Do you all understand now? We have nothing more to fear. Absolutely nothing.